Good morning, Sally. Great to be back with you. Hey, Harry. Let's hope this internet lasts. It's uh, we've had some challenging times with it the last few days. Did it affect Canberra? Um, not as far as I'm aware, but they may have done. Yeah. Oh no, Telstra's network got hacked. It was, it oh, okay. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I'm on. Uh, Ah, see, it's going funny again. Um, anyway, um, I don't know what's happening. This end, something's happening. The Mac has decided to switch microphones. Can you still hear me? Absolutely now. Yeah, it just went off for a second. Yep. Today, I thought we'd talk about quality or crap. <laughs> yes. Very, very good topic. I really enjoyed looking into this one. <laughs> yes. So it's about... It's about <clears throat> what you buy and how well it's made and how long it's going to last and what you need it for and all of that. Yeah. So my my three strands to this are reward yourself with good quality because if you're buying something, yep. it, if it's worth buying it, it's worth it lasting. Yeah. And then if it eventually breaks, hopefully you've bought something that's Repairable. Oh, good so one. Repair it. Yep. And then when you've used it and it's fulfilled your needs, and but you know you moved on, you no longer need it, then you can recycle it. Recycle. Yep. So a good example of this is um, audio gear, which I repair. Mm -hmm. um, and going down in quality while, um, but when we lived in Darwin, so that's like 17 years ago, one of my boys got, um, you know, what was it? It was a Yamaha amplifier of mesh converters. So it was already secondhand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It had been around for a decade. Okay. I used it for 15 years and then I wanted Bluetooth, so I upgraded to something else and put it away in the cupboard it still works it's still got better specs in some respects than some of the modern amps because it's properly built it's got just an overheat and so on anyway one of my boys needed they built a room downstairs so i recycled it to them so that's an example of something that's over engineered yep. it'll last pretty much it'll last for decades and decades mm -hmm. it does the job and um it's repairable yeah. So I repair headphones because in my business, I supply audio equipment to clients to, to use listening therapy programs. And, and originally we used Grado headphones, which are made by a family company in New York. Mm -hmm. And they're old style and they tend to look fashionable. They're not particularly attractive, mm -hmm. but they're endlessly repairable. Mm. You can take them to bits. You can take the drivers out, which are the speaker bits can replace the drivers. Well, you're talking so dirty to me, baby. <laughs> you can re-cable them. You yeah. can put the earmuffs on again. There's actually no part of them that can't be repaired. Yeah, wow. So they can be repaired forever. Wow. Super high quality. Yep. And they're expensive, but they're totally repairable. Whereas something like this is quite hard to repair. Yep. You can get the battery repaired, you can get the chips repaired, screen, case, and so on, but Apple don't make it that easy. I was going to say, a lot of products these days though, Harry, it's it's virtually impossible to repair. And just, I don't know, it's such a world of excess and a world of waste. And it's these days, it's easy to chuck it out and buy a new replacement. <laughs> it is, I'm just, it's true though, Harry. That's because you're buying, that's because at the point of purchase, you need to buy something. You have the choice to buy something that's repairable. For instance, the bookcase yep. behind you is a good example. It's yep. made of solid wood. There's not a piece of chipboard in it. And yep. that is repairable forever. Yep. Yep. Your great, great grandchildren could still be using that if they had yep. a need for bookcase. Yep. But I mean, that, that also brings up the point that a lot of stuff these days isn't old school quality. You know, look at cars. I'm, I was just thinking when we were doing this topic, my fridge. So bought a new fridge a couple of years ago. So it's the newest modern fridge. And it's just, it's not a piece of shit. 
but it's just um you know it just the freeze of the ice maker just it's not good quality and that was I'm looking at the quality of stuff for me i did a little model around this and you know what's important in purchasing a product for myself is one the recommendation the word of mouth you know people recommending stuff you are always forwarding recommendations you know online with new gadgets or whatever it is like the light the other day yeah yeah the road microphone absolutely you are the king of recommendations and i really you know take on board what you say then looking at the reliability or the dependability of the product that i'm looking for or the service whatever it is and then also price does come into it you know and i am very happy to pay more for a good quality product but price is is an issue around stuff and and linking in with all of that is like how much do i trust that brand um you know what's the aesthetic look because it has to suck some things have to look nice and also you know the long term use will it last for a long time but i really like the part about the recycle as well i think that's you know the environmental effects of the products or services i'm purchasing comes into play as well as overall satisfaction so those are all the things for me that make up yes i'll have that sort of decision so you know the environmental impacts and i do have a stat today how about oh, that good 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 i love you <laughs> There's apparently there's 50 million tons of waste discarded every year. Whoa. 85%, sorry, there's 50 million tons of waste produced a year, and 85% of that is discarded material. And this gets back to my nemesis, Alfred Sloan. You may know Alfred Sloan. He worked at General Motors in the 1920s. Yep. He was competing with Henry Ford. And at that time, Henry Ford made really good cars. You could get any color as long as it was black if you were buying a Model T. Yeah, yeah. And um, they reached market saturation, General Motors and Ford. So Alfred Sloan devised this concept of built-in obsolescence. Ah, right. So right. We, he brought in model changes. He brought in reducing quality of certain bits that were going to fail. Another example of Canon makes great printers, yep. but their print heads are non-replaceable. Yeah, right. So once the print head fails, you cannot repair it. Mm -hmm. um, and then there was, uh, when I was going through uni, I read a wonderful book by a guy called Vance Packard, and it was called The Waste Makers. And it was about this built-in obsolescence that's embedded in American and Western culture. So what I look for, you know, you've got choices, you've got ergonomics, that's one thing. Yep. Is the product built around the way your body's going to use it? So here's a good example of a light, which I got from Where's It Tap It Go. Yep. And this is a great light. I can use it as a tripod. Yep. If I've got a pretty girl, I can hang it off her arm. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I can, use it. I can use it as a stand. Yep, yep. And... And it's got a, this great little thing here where I can put my smartphone in and put a light on yep. and put a microphone on the back because it's got not one but three standard sockets, quarter yep. inch sockets. And that's not all. It's got a Bluetooth remote. So this is something that is yep. so well thought through. Yep. So the first thing is really work out what you need. Yep. And then if you're buying something like a fridge, I recommend you have a look at you know, after you've Googled it, there'll be a website where you've had a look at it, check the price out, and then yep. there'll be some customer comments. Yeah, yeah. Now, we're getting um, a camper trailer this weekend. I'll just pop up and get something. <laughs> oh, man, you're, you're a classic. So it, it has water. It has water tanks on it. And we got probably got to fill them up. So I got a hose. Whoa. And it's a blue hose, so that's drinking water hose. And, you know. Oh, okay. is that what blue? Oh, I didn't know blue was for drinking yeah. water. Yeah. So that's a drinking, but look, it's going to get tangled up. And, you know, I thought maybe I'll change it for, because I saw one which was a flat hose and was on a reel and would never get tangled up. Yeah. Almost double the price. I looked at this morning thing, maybe I'll return that. But I decided not to because I had a look at the reviews. And these guys are saying it broke after the first use. The car drove over and it cracked and so on. So yeah. we can have a product yeah. that looks great, but yeah. it doesn't work. So check the reviews there. Yeah. Um, and ergonomics, 
is about good design. It's a yes. stuff that looks nice, but it's also functional. So yes. we're thinking about Scandinavian design, a chair that not only looks good, but feels good. One, yep. of, one of my endless frustrations is I go into a furniture shop and the chairs may look good, yeah, but, but they're uncomfortable. Yep. Long so that, yep. that's, that's, that's the devil in the detail. And, you know, if we think about these things, computers, that they suffer from a thing called systemic obsolescence. So they just grow old as, as the versions of the software go past yeah now the eu is our really our only the only one that's helping us out because they're 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 combating single use built-in obsolescence with their regulations really and, and right. training um you know what that's one of the reasons why all the plugs on phones are all the same at the power end because of eu regs um, right they've enforced mm -hmm. that um and with apple there's this constant fight from right to repair groups mm. and you know apple slowed down their old phones and they're paying back hundreds of millions so i would say my three tips are yep. before you buy ensure your product meets your use and is well named name well made and if you can feel it and test it and if you can't look at the reviews yep, yep. educate yourself about repair, uh, repair options if it fails and before you throw something away in the bin sell it before you throw it away, <laughs> ask yourself if, if it could be reused, recycled, or deconstructed. Yeah, yeah. Now, how many times do you look at something when you're throwing it away and you think, well, maybe if I undid all those little screws and yeah. put them in a tin, that would be useful. Yeah. Or for instance, I, you know, I bought this composting toilet. I don't know whether you can see it. Can you see it out there? Yeah, you can see it out there. That's my composting toilet. Oh, yeah, yeah, toilet. your composting toilet. Absolutely, that box there up on the right. Yep. Yeah, I've, I've just varnished it. it. It was a knockdown kit that came all the way from Leipzig. And the Germans make things well. But there was a USB plug to power it, and <clears throat> the solder was not a very good solder. So I had to re-solder it, and then I had to make up a bracket to put it on, because yep. the way they put it wasn't going to work. I was going to break it off again. So I had a little bit of metal that I saved from an old computer box. And I cut that up and made it into a bracket and then sprayed it. And there we go. But if I hadn't deconstructed that computer yep. and saved the box, I wouldn't have had it. Mm. And also I managed to screw it onto my bracket with one of the screws that I saved from an old computer. So <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Now, it's a really interesting thing that you just brought up because now down here in Melbourne, we're in this massive lockdown for six weeks and it's pretty hideous. We're literally housebound. So I'm seeing this as a fantastic opportunity to cull the house. But then it, it, it begs the question, yes, he can... Whew, I've got a lot of stuff. Like I said to the kids the other day, you've got an hour, go through your room. So their beds are just piled with stuff they don't want to keep anymore. So yes, books, that's okay. I can recycle. I can take down to whatever the salvos I can take with the clothes. But there's just so much stuff. And like, I've had this thing about waste. Like, I just, I have so. waste. Hey? Have a go so. Have a go or so. Oh, yeah, oh, of course, it's good, but it's like old toys and things like old little things, you know, that kids okay. collected. Yeah, so. yeah, awesome. Old footy cards and all that sort of stuff. Like, it's just got to the stage that's just too much. You'd be amazed what people will find useful. If you well, say to them, you've got a garage, yep, put it in the garage. Wait till lockdown's over, have a garage sale. Yeah, I know. Man, the garage is going to be overflowing. Like, man. <laughs> Can you imagine this, it, every kid's bedroom is just full of stuff, you know, old ballet shoes and, you know, 10 years of crap and <laughs> it's terrible. I, 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 I threw my old ballet, sh my, my old ballet shoes wore out actually. <laughs> I never actually had any. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got my ballet shoes up there too. It's crazy. I've got mum's old doll from when she was a kid. Like I've got her old hair pieces from the seventies. You know, it's like, there's just weird stuff that's in this house. <laughs> Is that, from, is that for fancy dress? <laughs> well, it used to be. Oh, man. <laughs> so another thing I refuse to buy is toys that are battery-powered and plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 
what I would prefer for children is to is to give them um, toys like wooden blocks, yep, or um, construction kits, jigsaws, yep. things that are useful for the brain. And cameras are something that suffer from some obsolescence. And I found an old camera the other day that I'd given the Emma, which she never uses, and we gave it away to one of my grandkids. Yeah, right. Children, and he loves it. So that's found a good home. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I really love this topic, Harry. It was really good to look into and I really like the whole recycle, repair bit. It's like awesome. Reward, repair, recycle. Yep. Yep. That's really cool. So, mm, but having said that, I think, and also the big takeaway for me that I should do more of is look at customer reviews around the products. Absolutely. And also think about deconstructing stuff. Yep. 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 You know, um, <laughs> I wish you were here. You would die if you saw how much stuff I've got here, and you could de you could deconstruct your your life away here. <laughs> You'd yeah. never leave. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's interesting. Quite a few of the toys that I have in the clinic I got from garage sales. Yeah, right. right. So Fisher Fisher Price is an example of a really good American toy brand. They yeah. last for decades and decades. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And those so, Yeah, think about a garage sale. You can have a garage sale party with Shadow. <laughs> oh. I'll put some music on. Creative. Yes. <laughs> Be fun. Get the mirror ball happening. <laughs> it's like bring it on. You can get your girlfriends around, dress dress up in leotards, you know. Get Just to get my girlfriends together will be awesome. It's going to be a very long time. <laughs> it's a very long time. Six weeks like, isn't that long, so come uh, on. Oh, but this is in the life of a social chick. Imagine, imagine you <laughs> would been born like my mum in in uh, you know the twenties. Yep. And then when you were eighteen, seventeen, Second World War happened. Imagine yeah. what that would be like. Yeah. No. I'm so grateful that not going through that. Yeah. 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 Not only are you constrained, but there are bombs dropping. I know. You know? That's the thing. That there's no fear and terror like there was back then. I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, so by the media, but um, yeah, I know. I'm so grateful. I have so many positives yeah. about this, you know. And Imagine if you were living in a refugee camp in Pakistan mm. at this time. I know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you're right, Harry. Thank you, Pollyanna. <laughs> It's true. It's just, yeah, thank you. It's helped lift me. Or, or an apartment in New York, you know? Oh, imagine that. Could you imagine being in an apartment, being locked in, and you couldn't go out? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It'd be yeah. terrible. It'd be terrible. Yeah. You've got great places you can walk with 5K where you live, haven't you? <laughs> Once a day for an hour, yes. Thank goodness we can get out there. There's so many things to be grateful for. You're right. It's just challenging yeah. as we are adapting again, that's all. That's right. So, come on. Yeah. Okay, right. Snap out of it. Yeah, happy pants are back on for sure. For sure. You have a choice. You have a choice. So. Absolutely. Everything is a choice. Thanks, Harry, for reminding me. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so I might just do some online shopping, hey? And, uh, you know, check out some of the reviews. Exactly. Check out the reviews. Always do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, beautiful. Well, I'll catch you next week. And I'm keeping this because I checked out the reviews. There we go. <laughs> And I learned something new that blue hoses are for drinking. I didn't realise that. This is always well, maybe, good, all, not all, maybe not all blue hoses are for drinking, but all drinking hoses are blue. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, well, next time I'm allowed in Bunnings, I'll go and check it out. <laughs> Isn't Bunnings an essential service? No, you can click and collect, I think. But, um, you know, no, it's absolutely, no, no. If you've got a major issue, you're going to get a plumber or whatever, but that's about it. Yeah. Um, well, that's every girl's save, saving grace. <laughs> every girl's dream, yes. <laughs> What's that, that, that Jack Thompson movie with the plumber? Remember that? No. no. Oh, it's a classic. You'd love it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need every a plumber, you need an electrician. My mum says you always need a hairdresser. <laughs> what else? And it should be. Every client became a friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right, hun. I've got to go. I'll okay. see you next week. Okay.